Oh uh, yeah, here we go. Welcome back. We're picking up where we left off. We just escaped some crazy ass facility prison slash hospital. Everything blew up. Everything blew up. Even Mother Base. Catching up with Ocelot and Snake. The area ahead is under total Soviet control. Miller's been captive for 10 days. Not much time left. Weather will clear shortly. Storm's passing. Great music. Listen to that. Oh, yeah. Punished Venom Snake. So badass, he needs two nicknames. Look at that, look at that, the subtlety. Still getting used to his arm. Bionic arm. Getting used to it? Infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces. Should be the perfect one. Sponsored by JF Ray Eyewear. <laughs> they handle their product placement pretty well. Oh, I really wanted one of those eye droids for my iPhone. They used to sell them. Impossible to get now. Kazuhira Miller is being held in Darwin Dehar to the north. Check its location now. Take out your eye droid. You got it, buddy. You see Wandy on the map? That's where they're keeping Miller. Only problem is, we don't know his exact location. Finding it is your first priority. What did I do? Oh my god, I'm all over the place. Yeah, it's over here. The one day har. Yeah. Go ahead and close the eye drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got your binoculars? Mm hmm. Or should I say, int scope? Int scope. See the village? Straight ahead? To the right. There's a flashing light over here, is that All what you're right. saying? That's the village. If you see something through the binoculars and you need more information, just give me a call. I'll tell you anything I can about it. That's Vialo Village. The Vialo Calais. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's become a base for the Soviet's 40th Army. A few days ago, Miller was taken through there, en route towards Dewandehar. You may be able to pick up the trail there. It's worth a shot. Put a marker on it so you don't lose track of where it is. Mm. Good. Now you won't have to worry about getting lost along the way. You can't have much left in him. I give him three days, Tops. Miller. If we fail and he dies, we lose our chance of revenge. But we need more intel. You just go charging into Doan Dehar, you'll be putting both your lives at risk. See what you can find out first. The Soviets have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Afghanistan is a big place. I expect you'll become quite familiar with those binoculars as you plan your next move. How and where you make it, well, that's up to you. From here on out, you're on your own. Very subtle way to let the player know, use those binoculars, man. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you and return as big boss. That's how Koss would want it. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. And they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses and knees. His sponsored sunglasses. He'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back.
Now go! Let the legend come back to life. And he's gone. But you hear the chopper from just like the Fulton recovery system. There's a lot to unpack there. Uh, before I move on, there's some things I want to point out that are kind of cool. Why do you do a little more practice in those ruins? Shooting, taking cover, climbing obstacles. See to it that nine-year gap doesn't slow you down. Well, so they want you to... They've given you this... Well, first of all, there's a lot to unpack there just from the cutscene. Uh, one, he taught you how to use the binoculars, how to zoom in on things, how to mark things. If you remember from that initial, as we were walking up, there was something over here. It's a diamond right there. Uh, and I might as well just real quick, I'm going to cruise up there and grab it. And they put these ruins here so that you can practice a few things. First of all, I never knew. Oh, shit. I never knew. I never knew that there was a uh, crack here. This was something that I recently discovered. Uh, so there were a lot of things in that. There were a lot of things in that uh, cutscene that were really important for us to know. There were some uh, little hidden hints as to things that are unfolding in the story, but I won't go into those because it's a spoiler-free playthrough. I'm playing it like a new, like a like a brand new. Uh, you know, totally green soldier just out of the academy or whatever, out of basic training. Uh, there's uh, this area. Is kind of, I don't know what it's called in game design, but it's something that we always do is to have an area where the player is finally set loose to just practice things like uh, crouching, uh, crawling. I'm surprised they don't have like a little spot in here that you have to crawl under just to teach the player, yo, like you can crawl through here, but they've given you these pots that you can shoot practice shots at. Oh, no, maybe not. Not with that gun. With this gun that you can. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> practice shooting with. Um, they've put in a few objectives in here as well so that you could, uh, I believe, so that you can try to like there's ammo up there. How do you get that, right? Well, if you get close to the edge here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's teaching you the cover attack. But if you press in a direction and the triangle button, you can do like a leap. Let me see if I can do it. There you go. Look at that. And then uh, crawl around it. Oh, but I fell down. <clears throat> At the wrong button. It's the triangle button to, to climb up, obviously. Because tr there is no jump, really. But if you're going off of ledges, you can do like one of those kind of quick little jumpy things. Not an easy move to do. But this is what this whole area is for. <laughs> I'm going to flub it a few times. Uh, I am a little rusty, although, slight confession to make, I have played through this a few times. I've never actually gone up and gotten these items, by the way. That's a new thing for me. Yeah, so it does show you in the UI exactly how to do the moves. And by the way, you know, if you're... A UI designer, you'll know that like some of these things are really tough to communicate. I once had to design a uh, an icon. I think it was for World of Warcraft that was called something like Mental Fortitude. Now try to imagine a symbol that you could draw as an icon or paint as an icon for Mental Fortitude. <laughs> I think I drew like a brain. <laughs> I don't remember a brain with like a shield on it or something or energy flowing into it. Anyway, I don't want to get too distracted here, uh, we're, so we're going to jump on the horse. So yeah, confession to make, I played through uh, this area, this mission a few times, and had a few incidents where just the recording was absolute just crap, just craptacular, like it was sluggish and crapping out on me a few times, and it just wasn't worth posting because, I don't know, just, it was annoying me. And that was the second time that I recorded it. This is the third. This time it should work. What had happened was my laptop ran out of memory. Yeah, some of these uh, video files, if you're recording fairly high resolution, it get to be pretty high in the file size. There is a way to stealth through here, I think. Put the enemy in the center of your field of view. 
There he is. Hmm. That's marking. Focus on the thread and it'll be marked automatically. You can mark enemies and vehicles by zooming in with your binoculars or camera. Once they're marked, you'll also see their positions on the map. Security at that guard post is relatively light. Looks like the perfect place for a warm-up. Try to remember the ways you used to deal with enemies. Anytime you need advice, just give me a call. So what's key about this particular base, by the way, or this little... little uh... Sight, sound, keep all your enemy senses in mind. When you're near an enemy, stay low and move slowly. The reason why these troops are here and they're kind of dumb is because they want you to have a chance. They want you to get used to sneaking up on enemies. And one thing to note is if you crouch, you reduce your audio, your, your footstep sound, and yet you can't go full speed. Like I'm not pressing full speed on this guy because he will hear me. And you can knock him out, kill him, or interrogate. Talk. Boss, you don't understand what he said? Uh, I guess that makes sense. It looks like that uh, horn stuck in your head has impacted the language center of your brain. If only we had a recruit with a Russian interpreter skill, we could get by with simultaneous interpretation. So what he's trying to say is that if you extract a soldier that has that particular skill that speaks Don't leave bodies out in the open. Russian. Find some place to drop them out of sight. If you find someone that speaks Russian and English, they can become an interpreter for you. And then when you interrogate, they'll be able to actually tell you what they're saying. So again, appreciate the UI there. One is to enter into the uh, little portage on thing. The other is to put an object inside of it. Same symbol they used in Ground Zeroes. And because he's marked, we'll still see his body when we're close. We got another, I believe there's another soldier over here. Another troop, a soldier. Guard. We got a guard over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want to make sure that I'm not using uh, deadly weapons. And you can pick up his rifle, but it's not silenced, and I don't really have any reason to grab that AK-47 or whatever it is. I think this is the only guy. I've been through here a few times, so <laughs> I think this is the only other dude coming up here. So this first mission is very staged. They want you to learn these things. I think I could do a holdup, too. I don't know. I'm going to try it. Guard post captured. Yeah. Don't know how to interrogate him or anything, so I'm just going to knock him out. These are tranquilizer bullets. So don't get grossed out. <laughs> I didn't shoot him in the face or anything. Uh, generally, you do want to move bodies outside of just the road or whatever. You don't want to leave bodies laying around. That's not good, man. And uh, normally there's some resources in here, but I think I must have already picked them up. My last run through. No. I deliver only the finest quality recordings on my channel. That's right. <laughs> Planning to walk the whole wilderness on foot? Yeah. Use yeah. your horse. Ah. Okay. So you can you can call in your horse, but literally, like, I'm just going up like less than 50 feet. So it's a little ridiculous. And by the way, I'm coming off of playing Tears of the Kingdom where, quite frankly, the horse is just annoying in Tears of the Kingdom. I can never call the damn thing. Probably doing it wrong. And by the way, check this out. I never even knew there's like another village up there. I don't know that I've ever been there. I've probably never gone there. But it's not within the scope of this mission. Let me check my iDroid. Come on. Yeah, there's like, there's no real reason to go up there. I think that's this. Anyway, hmm, Deshago Kalai. Anyway, we got to go here, which is this little, eh, it's, I want to say it's like a little village. We're just sort of on the outskirts of it right now. There are things in these huts, but we don't need to go in there. And by the way, I was going to show you, yeah, look, check it out. You can totally stealth on a horse. They won't even know that you're there, like a ghost. Like, look at that. They see a foot, but... Hey, where's the guy? Kind of a neat thing. 
I don't know. It's also kind of dumb. <laughs> nice You're time of day. The enemy outpost, Violo Village. The village is crawling with enemy soldiers. Don't just go waltzing in. Start with some recon. Is there anywhere that overlooks the village? Yeah, we're gonna yeah. go up to this rock up here. We're gonna rock the Casbah. How about it? Can you see the village from there? Use the binoculars. Look at where the enemies are stationed. Look at their gear. Take it all in. There should be a command post somewhere. See any buildings with tighter security? If there are clues to Miller's whereabouts, I'll bet you can find them in there. There is a satellite. You don't have to knock out the satellite, but it, there is a perk to doing so, which I believe is that they can't call for backup. I think that's like a radio tower, basically, this thing. You can take it out. I don't think I need to for the mission objectives for this particular mission. I'm going to try. I'm going to absolutely freaking try to not get spotted. Because I know exactly where to go, and we're not effing around. The sun is going down. This is what I was saying. It's sort of like really scripted. In the sense that this first mission, they don't... Like, I, I've never seen it get dark before you get to this village, but like once you get to the village, it is almost always dark. And the screen is going to get very dark, by the way. Um, I will try to increase the contrast in the YouTube video. It's one of those things that I had an issue with before. I uploaded it and I was like, damn, dude, it's like pitch freaking black. And I actually prefer that because, you know, quite frankly, like that's what, you know, it's really like in the dark out, out in the middle of nowhere. Just dig the vibes. They don't, they don't like bother you with a bunch of music. It's kind of dumb. I hate when like a game just puts music in for the sake of like creating artificial tension. I do believe I have night vision goggles and it is starting to get dark enough that I probably want to use them. Yeah, and this will highlight enemies. But watch when I take this off. You see, oh, it's not it's not even fully dark yet. I'm gonna crawl up. Maybe I can get a little closer. You know, one of the things you're going to have to expect when you're watching these playthroughs of any Metal Gear, especially this one, there's a million paths I could go. You could approach this village from any different direction. And I got to tell you, like, the way I play it is I, I legit try not to get spotted. But by the same token, I'm also trying to shake it up so that I'm not just doing the same routes I always do. It keeps it tense. It keeps it interesting. I do believe a soldier does patrol through here. It's kind of different every time. Oh, yes. Scouted him. Uh, that certainly... Raises a challenge here. Oh, shit. There's a third one. Well, I get to mark them all here. I wonder if I could sneak by. Do you think you'd even notice me? Maybe if I go through here. Because i got to get into that building with the red flag there. I think that's the Russian flag. Soviet Union? I think so. It's a little blurry. I just turned on my home computer thing. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Come on, split up, guys. Come on. What are you going to do? Maybe I can just go around him. Is that another guy over there? It is not. It's a risky move, but I'm going to move up on these guys. Maybe I can go around. Oh, they're moving. I got movement. Oh, he's coming around this corner. Shh. All right. 
Yeah, once you, if you do get spotted, oh, there's another one. It's a good thing I didn't go. If you do get spotted, by the way, the whole base goes on alert. This is really risky. I'm going to try to get close enough to take the shot. Go for the headshot. Got him. And I do not want to leave his body laying out. He's not dead. Just knocked out. If you try to use the Fulton recovery device, you're pretty much going to just alert the guards. I'm going to leave him in the uh, bushes here. That should do it. And maybe, again, I've never been through this way. I usually take a different route. So there's some good tension here. A little bit of the unexpected. But I've done a good job of marking the enemies. Is that guy inside? It's hard to see. Oh, he's in the building. And he's coming out. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't go. Oh man, he's coming right towards me right now. Where are you going, buddy? Gotcha. <laughs> Let's get around the corner. I don't want any unexpected. Uh, it's not. It's not looking good. I got another guy coming up. Maybe. I'm going for it. Now the last thing I want to do is like accidentally step over any pots or anything too. That could be problematic. And it's really unnecessary to take these guys out. The best thing to do is try to just sneak through and not get spotted. Not startle anybody, not cause any alarms. This is the intel I was after. I believe that's just more info. Is this guy coming up here? Oh my god, he is. You have arrived at your destination. He's totally coming right up here. Holy shit, he's coming right in. Never had this happen. Dude, no way. Don't do it. He is. Yep. <laughs> shit. It's stressing me out, dude. Why'd he do it? I'm not trying to do... I'm not even trying to do anything crazy, man. Oh, it's a good thing I got the slow-mo on. All right, I'm going to go wide. Uh, hopefully they won't spot anybody or find any of the bodies. And I can just kind of like zip right around the outside perimeter of the base here. Or this little village. So this whole thing is basically a training ground. I think I'm in the clear. I've never been spotted going this way, although I've never gone this way. So again, this is a game where every single time you play it is different. I, I like I'm like I said. I think I'm on my third playthrough for this week, <laughs> and uh, it never had that happen. But uh, also never went this route. Totally different each time. There is a truck that comes through here. If you wait long enough, or if you take a long enough time. And I am going to turn on my night vision. They do start you with that, by the way. That's not something you have to develop. It's not tech you have to, like, research. You do have to watch out for these uh, spotlights, though. And pretty much that yellow marker is where I'm supposed to be going. I do have some concerns about possible patrols. 
or possible like that truck. Like I said, I think there's usually a truck that comes through, but again, that's what keeps the game interesting is that it's kind of different every time. So it never really gets old. Literally, you could, if this was your, your jam, you could play this game back to back and just have a different infiltration style every single time. And then on top of that, once you get new items, it's like the game's totally different again. Because once you've got new abilities, new weapons. I don't know how it works with distance though. Like I'm kind of far from the village right now, right? So if they were to find those bodies now, I don't think they would like start any alerts. But I don't know. I could be wrong about that. Extraction arrived at mother base. Uh, so dudes, a uh, little bit of a confession. I, uh, ooh, a cassette. I like this gem. I wonder if I can get in there and get, ah, I'm not going to do anything risky. No, nope. I'm not going to try to get the cassette. Not today. You can use that, by the way, to, uh, whenever you call for your chopper, you can have your chopper play in that jam, whatever cassette you find. So, um, I told my wife today, I told my wife I, I, that I'll never die. And uh, and I'm willing to make the same promise to you as well. You are <laughs> you are part of my unit, and uh, I promise I will never die in real life or in game. And if I do, I will wear the chicken hat if I get one in real life or in the game. If I'm dead in real life, I will wear the chicken hat. I'm just going to try to go around. I don't even think I want to... I don't want to try to take these guys on. Again, there are a number of ways that you, one could go, by the way. If we were to look at the map, I could come around from the other direction uh, through here, which I have never done. Oh, what do you say? Why don't we do it? Uh, if I can get past this outpost without getting spotted, why don't we do it? I could just go up the hill up here. I'm too nervous to ride my horse because, quite frankly, I don't want to get spotted. I totally feel like this area looks like Orange County. It looks like the area where I live. I mean, some of the hiking trails that I go on. It's kind of a desert with these same kind of rocks some of the areas that I go hiking on weekends, but there'd be like a park bench. Probably find some llamas, maybe some hawks or something, coyotes. Got a lot of coyotes where I live. They get loud at night too, man. All right, yeah, it looks like we can totally go this way. I keep doing the wrong side of the you have to press the touchpad, but it's just the one side of the touchpad. There's probably another outpost over here as well, so I want to use a little bit of caution. Yeah, again, never gone this way. Mixing it up, keeping it fresh. Keeping it fresh. And it's a good thing you don't have a stamina meter. Uh, like I said, I'm coming off of playing Tears of the Kingdom. Here's the kingdom, poor horse calling, and poor stamina management. <laughs> I don't like having the meter. But I get it. It's just another way to like kind of limit the player. Ooh, yeah, we do have an outpost over here. Which I have never seen. Well, I mean, I've seen it. I've driven through here. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever had any reason to go through here. Oh man, he's going to go up in the tower. Even more chance he'll find me if I if he goes up in the tower. Uh, I'm not just going to go around him though. I don't even need to. I don't need to deal with that guy. We're just trying to get to uh, Daquan Dehar, or however you say it. I feel like that voice actor really practiced saying all of these names of. 
various locations. Feels like there was some training going on there to make it sound natural. Oh, are you kidding me? Where? What? See, that's why I don't ride my horse. This is some rogue freaking guy. While I'm doing my Rambo run. Oh, uh, what? Now they're going to be looking for me? I don't know what they're saying. What? What does that mean? Okay. That was not slick. Look at how dark it got. This is what I'm saying. And I'm playing on like an HD monitor, so it's probably brighter on my screen than what you're seeing. The recording is probably going to darken it a little bit. Hmm, I wonder if I could wait till morning. I've never done this mission in the morning. Yeah, why not? Uh, how do I do that? Let's see. Hmm, no? Magazine? No? 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 Cigar. Cigar blended with medicinal plant that speeds up the perception of time doesn't work if the user is under stress. Let's use it. Whoa. We're just waiting for daylight. Here we go. Oh, wait, stop it. Stop it. I've never done this mission in the daylight. <laughs> nice. It's actually like more challenging at night. But I feel like, again, I just don't want so much uh, darkness on the screen. We've got to brighten it up for viewers. Keep it bright. Light and bright. Again, trying to do it totally differently than I've ever done it. I also wonder, I didn't bring any kind of explosive or anything, but I wonder if there's a way. That's uh, Guan Dehar. Or Doug Juan. Doug Juan Dehar, I believe. So you say it? Da Guan De Ha Car. Blah. Blah, blah. I really wonder if they're gonna do some like uh, PS5 update that's got like a. I guess it'll be PS6 by the time they put this thing out. Uh, they're doing the Master Collection, was recently announced of the Metal Gear games. The first one through three, plus the MSX games, that's coming out like this. November. If you don't already know this stuff, uh, yeah, that was some recent news. And then uh, I'm just scoping, looking for any kind of tactical stuff I might need to know here. Um, and then there, I'm, I'm guessing next year we'll probably get Metal Gear Solid 4 and 5 probably in the Master Collection too. Or it'll be like Peace Walker... Gosh, what could be in the Master Collection too? Definitely. One day, they've got Miller locked up in that town. Check your eyes, Roy, for his location. I hope you know he's is. all right. He's not your average client. My guess would be Peace Walker, uh, Metal Gear Solid Four, which was Guns of the Patriots, and. Would they do, would they bother to do a portable ops? Or a Metal Gear Acid? Like, would they bother to port those over to current gen consoles? I mean, certainly would add to the package. Something tells me they wouldn't. But they could do five. I feel like I'd, I'd be a, I'd feel a little ripped off if I didn't get four and five in the same package. But then again, do you need it? What would they do? I mean, I'm currently playing it on PS4. 
What would they do? Increase the uh, frame rate? That guy's going to come running down here. I know it. Yep, get up here. Get up there. You know, this is the problem with doing this at daylight. They've got really good visibility. Do you see that? It's like he was looking for me. It's freaking criminal. How much that guy was like hunting me down. Oh, he's on to me. Oh. Come on, dude, do something. You gonna do something? He's not gonna do anything. He just came running up like he saw something. Every now and then this guy will just bolt down this road. I have no idea why. Again, it. I think there's like one like rogue Konami employee that still updates this game with like new AI behaviors just to keep it interesting. There's one dude, Sajimoto, or I don't know. I just made up a Japanese sounding name. And he like sneaks in at midnight and like uploads code to Metal Gear Solid 5 just so that players can still see unexpected shit. Thank you, Sajimoto. You're a patriot. That doesn't make any sense. Fuck. Okay, I should have come in at night. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Somebody saw something. Somebody saw something. But not enough to fucking get me. Alright. I'm really kind of regretting doing this in daylight. Ah, <laughs> oh, you see that? Look, there he is. Yeah, their visibility is much further than what I'm used to at night. It's gonna make this extra tough. And I don't know really the right way in here. Let's see. We got a couple of guards. I think the key here is, oh my God, don't move. Don't fricking move. Oh my god, I could have taken him out. This is a weird jump. Oh my god, don't do anything. <laughs> this place is crawling. This place is crawling, dude. I feel like I made some bad decisions coming in here like this. Can I get around to the back of the building? Do it. Do it. Get around the back. Oh. Oh, this is like a safety net back here. It is Koza. Very Koza. Do it, do it. Oh, no way. Come on. How could I possibly know that guy was there? I better move the body. I think they really want you to take a bunch of dudes out before you even come through here. I have to be careful to not break anything, too, because, good God, they are going to swarm this place if I'm not careful. Oh, shit. Hmm. <laughs> is he coming in here? He's not. No, he is not. Well, maybe. Oh my god, is he? Nope. Okay. Do not crack any pots or anything. I think this is Miller. Yeah, this is Miller. Here we go. Oh my god, there, this guy's coming up the stairs too. Oh, man, that guy better not walk in here while I'm rescuing God. Miller. No use for me, huh? 
Raz, it's me. I'm here to get you out. Snake. They do something to your eyes? No, it's... It's just bright as all. Now, normally, if you rescue Cause at night, you secure the target. I'll send the chopper to get you out. Make your way to the RV. Here's a little you mouse. Check the location on your iDroid. Mission info has been updated. Normally, if you rescue Cause at night, then right about now the sun starts coming up. And I'm gonna have to do some bold, crazy ass stuff well. here. Oh my god. Like I said, bold, crazy ass stuff. Ah <laughs> Not so heavy anymore, right? Yeah, I've never uh This is what it's all about, dudes. One, it's always different. Two, it's uh, all about rescuing POWs and then getting the fuck out, man. I think... Oh, man. They're sort of suspicious. Somebody's going to come looking. Better haul ass. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Be quiet. Come pick me up. Give me big quad. Don't let me down. Don't let me hang. So normally the sun would be coming up right now. It'd be real low, low visibility. Street Boys? Boss, watch out. It's the Skulls. Don't let them find us. Boss, whatever that mist is, it's all around you. We can't see through it. I'm changing the RV so it's outside the mist. Get over there. The chopper will be waiting. There's only one way out of town. Yeah. I've tried it all. I tried going up that way. Don't work. I've tried sneaking past. Don't work. You absolutely <laughs> gotta just balls to the wall. Gun right through the back street, boys. There's a little cutscene here. Pulls a freaking gun out of his hand. about to get real weird. Okay. I don't know any other way to do this to guarantee that we get out of here. Because, quite frankly, I've had a few incidents where they've actually taken out Miller from the back of my horse. I think maybe, like, cutting through the rocks helps. Maybe? You've also got to manage your 
your kicks on the horse. You don't want to overdo it because then the horse gets tired. I'm almost in the clear. Almost in the clear. It's a tight one. It's close. And I don't know if there are any troops around here, though. Is the that cassette here? Cleared, it looks like they're gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's get that cassette. I've never stopped to grab the cassette here like this. Hope I don't die. Nice. Totally in the clear. And I got my uh, Blinded Me With Science uh, cassette. I'm feeling like a uh, total freaking badass right now. The unit that us before. They came at us real fast in the same kind of mist. Oh, man. Survivors from nine years ago were wiped out in minutes. I don't know what they want, but it's All right. no mistake. Total freaking badass, dudes. So this is what it's all about. You rescue a POW on horseback, carry him over your shoulder, and they butcher him. Look at that. Oh. Load him onto the chopper. Then you jump onto the chopper. Then you grab yourself the gun. Just in case there are any stragglers. I think the horse gets uh, boltoned out. Yeah, look. There he goes. Boltoned him out. There are some missions you can do just blast and use with a Gatling from the side of the chopper, which is pretty freaking awesome. But I think I just startled with an alarm. Not the smartest move for my rating, though. <laughs> What's my score? Better than chick? No, it's a chick. Again, I keep getting a chick. It's a B. Let's see, no retries. Got a little bit of a perk for that. Uh, it's the reflex. Yeah, it's, so it's one of the things that I got to point out is, and some of you were wondering, why the hell did you delete your 350 hour save? And I, that's in another video here on my channel. Some of you were wondering, why the hell did you delete your 350 hour save? Because, uh, I wanted to play it without all the stuff that like there's there's items that you get that auto tag enemies there's like super powered up weapons and stuff and I don't want to rely on any of that I like the procure on site I like playing it fresh so that's what I'm trying to do I got something I got something out of that not too bad all right roll the credits just for you know the leads I guess Crazy, because I think like 500 people worked on this game. Maybe 300. It's a lot. We're headed for the Seychelles. That's where our new home is now. Hey. That was some operation we had, huh? Nine years ago. Carving out our own world. Making our own future. And they took it away. So many layers. Make a new place. Together. That we can call home. Kojima Productions? Yeah, we were dogs, all right. Slinking around, out of sight for sight. Digging up whatever kind of dirty money we could find. You name it. We did it. You see this? Diamond dogs. Our new home. The phantom of our former selves. Triumph. Death. Fingers. The body I've 
lost. The comrades I've lost won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? I'm the one who got caught up with Cypher. A group above nations, even the U.S. And I was the parasite below, feeding all off for Zero's revenge. power. That's just to remind you. Took down the whole mother base. They came after you in Cyprus. In Afghanistan. Cypher just keeps growing. Swallowing everything Classic. in its path. Getting bigger and bigger. Who knows how big now? Boss. Gonna make him give back our past. Take back everything that we've lost. And I won't rest until we do. Pushing Mother Base. have changed, boss. We pull in money, recruits, just to combat Cypher. Rubbing our noses in bloody battlefield dirt. All for revenge. The world calls for wet work, and we answer. No greater good. No just cause. Cause. Cypher sent us to hell. We're going even deeper. I know. I'm already a demon. Heaven's not my kind of place anyway. Dogs of war for nine whole years. That ends today. Now you're not sleeping, and we're not junkyard hounds. We're diamond dogs. Let them talk. We can crush Cypher, boss. And you can build the army that can do it. Just one thing, Kaz. This isn't about the past. We're fighting for the future. Kaz is really still stuck in the past. I think this is all his revenge story, basically. Oh yeah, we got our base. <laughs> Hell yeah. Boss, there's something I want to talk about. It concerns the running of Mother Base. Yeah. Come meet with me. Alright. You came. Yeah. This base belongs to you now. Make Diamond Dogs the force it deserves to be. Like any organization, we need good people. And we need to make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out for you. The 
Start Is that a bringing Fulton? people in. Yeah. Use this. Nice. It's a Fulton recovery device. First introduced in, in Peace field, Walker. Use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. Then we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on. Test it out on the staff here. Anyone <laughs> you want. First, put them to sleep. You have a tranquilizer oh, gun, don't you? Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Oh, what's the matter, boss? Choke them out. You don't want to kill these guys. <laughs> That'd be the bad move. First day. That's one way of doing it. What do you mean? Now extract them. What other way is there? I guess just punch them. More fun to sneak up. You can only bolt and recover someone if they're not resisting. No dead bodies either. They don't make great recruits. The staff member you just extracted will be assigned to the team best suited to his abilities. See for yourself. Open your eye droid. All right. Select staff management from. So that staff member was placed on the R and D team. Brass the armadillo. Team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. Um. Oh, well, that's not this screen. That's back here at development. Here we go. Weapons and items. Please. Specify that's the R and D project. team's development list. See the item called cardboard box. Didn't yep. seem much use to me, but Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. <laughs> the last word in infiltration technology, or so he said. In any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. We need more staff on the team. Go extract a few more people. You... <laughs> Boss, you, put the iDroid away for a moment. You have an oil rig, but you can't you can build a cardboard box. You extract individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC next? Show them how it's done, Boss. That's that guy over here? Yeah. What's up? Try oh, 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 sneak attack. <laughs> That's what you just said. I just punched him to death. <laughs> well, not to death. They are not going to appreciate that. Okay, so there is a more. Oh yeah. Fulton extraction won't always be successful. If the person is injured, the shock of it could kill them. And if the weather is unfavorable, well, they could end up going missing. You can determine the chance of success by approaching the person you want to extract. If you want to be sure you can get them out, best carry them to the chopper instead. All right, extract the next staff member. There are multiple things, uh, by the way. Uh, for one, the Fulton recovery system is based on a real thing. They actually tried that. I think it was during, oh, I want to say Vietnam, but I could be wrong about that. Maybe World War II. Uh, experimental technology, but uh, not very safe. And it was first introduced in Metal Gear and Peace Walker, but it was not very efficient. And this one, it's much more uh, efficient. They, they had a similar system where you're building a base. Nearby, perform CQC on them in quick succession. This allows you to take them all out before any of them can strike back. Ah. That was the, uh, the base that we saw blow up in Ground Zeroes was the base that they had built in Peace Walker. How do you do it in quick succession? I think I just need five of these guys, so I think this will be three, and this will be four. There's a lot of fun stuff to do here on Mother Base, by the way. Extraction arrived at So many queues going on all at once. Oh, it looks like. Yeah. Development requires met requirements met. Select weapons items under the development. Please heading. specify Now select project. cardboard box and start development. It's really aware that development requires funds. GMP. Yeah. Watch we don't end up in the red. Development has finished. Now we can order one up. You can have the support requested. unit supply you with weapons and items you've developed. Think of it as your own personal delivery service so you can call in your gear let's say that you have um, some tech developed back at mother base 
You can call that into the field and have it drop somewhere. You could have it dropped on another person's head, for instance, uh, using that iDroid, and it basically gets parachuted in. There are ways to get these boxes dropped faster as well by increasing the R&D team, I believe. Not sure what it's good for, but Miller said you know what to do. Try it out. One last thing. The staff members who extracted were all placed on the R&D team, but that was Miller's decision. If you think they belong somewhere else, you're free to move them around. Well, that about does it. You won't make any GMP or find recruits hanging around here. Board the chopper when you're ready for a mission. Open your eye droid and select a landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Or if you're still in the mood for knocking guys on their asses, you can stay around here a while and give them in some practice. Just come pay me a visit. These guys are already on the team. I don't know that I'm actually doing anything here. They're kind of a bit of a waste of time. This is all just to introduce you to the mechanics of running and operating Mother Base. I'm ready, boss. Choke him out. Go on and extract him. Yeah, yeah. This is all just tutorial stuff, basically. Things that you'll do in the field. You want to build up your squad. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Strike an adversary repeatedly to knock him out. He'll stay unconscious for longer than. <laughs> extract the staff member. This is the last one I need. Strike an adversary repeatedly to knock him out. He'll stay unconscious for longer than if you throw him. It's an honor, boss. Extraction Starting to feel like yourself again? The rest will fall into place with some time in the field. Go ahead and call the chopper from your eye drawer. Whoops. Go for them, not me. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's call in the chopper. Can I call it anywhere? Oh, no, that's not what I'm doing. I just uh, dropped a marker. I didn't actually call it in. Okay, let's call for a pickup. They're designated spots. There's really nothing at Mother Base other than... You can run around and you can customize it, and there's a few things that you can do with it, just colors mostly. So cool. Oh man, I love it. Oh, they could have just made more locations. That would have been enough for me, man. Put out expansions, new uh, bases. They don't even need to add story, man. I literally just expand on the system that's already here. Hmm. No hope for that from Snake Eater, by the way. Uh, rumor and speculation is that they're not adding even a single line of dialogue to the game. Probably just pickups for things like controllers, you know, descriptions or whatever, you know. Press the PS button instead of, or the Xbox buttons, you know, like that kind of thing. But rumor is they're just not recording any new lines for the Snake Eater, which means it'll be the same exact game, very likely. So, my hype level for Snake Eater Delta a little reduced after reading that. Was that that's kind of treated like a mission, I guess? Wow, that's episode two. Okay, all right, I'll take it getting some heroism mm -hmm. they do these uh yeah they do the credits after every episode at least they don't drag it out i mean it's sped up pretty fast but it only shows like 10 people what about the hundreds of people who worked on this game man Oof. cold-blooded i did get a another tape though i don't think i'll be listening to the tapes on the videos because that's not as entertaining i guess you'd say oh an emblem part yeah well that's right we haven't built an emblem i did ask everybody uh who watches to leave suggestions i only got like two suggestions man so uh keep them coming in i won't build the emblem just right away i want to give at least a few more people a chance to like make some suggestions for the emblem name for the unit and since you are all part of the unit Mission i want to know what do you got i know you haven't been back long 
and I prepared a list of missions for you. Open your eye droid. Okay. Missions. Here we go. Mission Please list. Select a mission. I've taken the job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high value target elimination. Probably all a walk in the park for you, but they should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you're rested up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. The Phantom Pain? The future of Diamond Dogs is in your hands. We're counting on you, boss. See, that's... <laughs> That's why I deleted my save game, dudes. There's new dialogue. I haven't heard that stuff in so long now. It's like eight or nine years since I heard it. Um, so yeah, you know, let's uh, jump into mission three. I guess that would be a hero's way. And I do believe it would be wise if we save that for the next episode. So come on back and uh, we will continue.